Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Blindly Plays Cold Steel 4 today. Well, I guess Trails of Cold Steel 4. Yeah, well, actually we want to be technical, it's we Legend of Heroes. lucky that this place isn't fully up and running right now. Yeah, I guess. That's right. It would have taken us at least twice as long if it was. To be fair, it didn't take that long. Yeah, anyways, the proper name is Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. Yeah, no, actually getting up here didn't take that long. Yeah, I'm well indeed. It was most of the cutscene that took a while. I ain't sure it took, what, 20 minutes to get up here? Well, I guess, technically, I guess that would have been a little bit longer than some places. Nothing. And a rest point. Does this restore my CP? I don't think I used any of my spell points, right? No, it does not restore my CP. Oh, I can talk to you? Hi. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's the quest marker. A barrier? Look at that barrier to me. Judging by the light show, I'd say this is it. Yes, this is where all that data from Heimdall ended up. It must have been installed recently. It wasn't here two years ago. What, the barrier or the system? Are you ready, Ren? But of course. She was born ready. I guess that's not a barrier then? <clears throat> Excuse me. All set that up. That is an adorable lap dog. I'll need your help for this next part, Kia. You got it. What should I do? According to Four Eyes, this terminal uses a system made with the same astral code that Ouroboros uses. It's a five-dimensional spirit code. A lifetime wouldn't be enough to try all the combinations. Okay. But with your help, we should be able to skip ahead 81 steps or so. That seems like a lot. Oh, I get it now. You want me to matricize the exterior of space-time, right? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Exactly. Let's get started. Are these kids even speaking our language? Nope. The heck is a five-dimensional code? That's not the most confusable part. Confus confusional? Kronos? Yes, exactly. Astral code. Huh. It's the system Ouroboros uses for its communication. Is that the sequel to Astral Train? Right. And it seems the Kroys family applied it to their ritual. I still don't understand why that data from Heimdall was sent here of all places. It's simple, really. It's because I requested it of the Governor General and a certain source. Okay. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, it's you. Oh. I couldn't even sense them coming. Are you? She's from the RMP. No, that says dead to me. Not Major Claire Revelt. I'm Claire Revelt, Railway Military Police. I recognize the two of you. Lloyd Bannings and Ellie McDowell. You must be Estelle Bright, meaning the one with you is Joshua Bright, correct? Yeah. Who? <laughs> no, you must have us mixed up with some other people. If it's all the same, I think we'll avoid confirming our identities for now. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm actually quite impressed you were able to pinpoint this terminal's location. I suppose the Faceless taught you well. What did you say? Wait. There's a red button I topic. I recognize you. A key figure in Ouroboros' 13 Factories project, you led a team of gnomes in Erebonia. But then you betrayed the society to join forces with the Blood and Iron Chancellor, didn't you? Chief of the Black Workshop? <laughs> Precisely. Alberich of the Black Demise. Was that your title in the I other game? closely with the yeah, former Black third Angus of Ouroboros, the Faceless. I even had him test my automated miniature combat shells. He proved very useful in the Hommel project as well. Hard to believe that was 14 years ago. Yeah, time flies when you're committing genocide. What are you talking about? Does that mean you helped the Professor start the Hundred Days War? Seems like there's still a lot of buried secrets. I'm guessing the data here is the key to dragging the rest of the skeletons out of your closet. 
I hope you're still working on that. Yes, actually. Also, if fuck you, you can Claire. If you break the code, then by all means, do whatever you wish with the data. Ah, however, before you can do that, you'll need to face the three of us. Sure, who's the third one? The three of you? Just the three of us. No way. <laughs> Why, hello oh, there, everyone. Maribel? Long time no see. I like the outfit. Uh, why? What are you doing here, Belle? Maria Bell. Maribel, Mia Bell. Oh, don't be like that. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Two years or so. And it looks like you're up to your neck in trouble. Just like I knew you'd be. Belle. So you finally come back to Crossbell. But what are you doing with these two? Should you be fighting the Imperial government? Oh? Did you not get the memo? No, I can't read. Ouroboros is now allied with Mr. Blood and Iron, or... Perhaps it would be more accurate to say Ouroboros surrendered to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's surrendered and not... They're quote-unquote surrendering, surrendering is all going according to their plan. <laughs> okay. Look, I wasn't going to bring it up, but looking at Belle and Ellie, did they just, like, did they just boost breast sizes or something in between series or something? Like, good lord. Like, I don't know. It just seems, like, absurdly bigger than what they were. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. What? Since when does the society just roll over like that? If that's the case... And what happened in Heimdall? Yes, it was a declaration of the alliance between Chancellor Osborn and Ouroboros. The beginning of the Great Twilight. The Great Twilight? That's one heck of a creepy name. And it's kind of very... Edgelord, actually. Well, now I get it. So that's what that weird black wave was. That was a curse. Uh -huh. That outfit is fantastic, you see though. It, even though you lost your powers as a septarian? My family's little pet project continues to impress. He is not just some project. It's okay, Ellie. It's true that I started out as a project. But that aside, there are some things I'm grateful to Belle for. It's thanks to her that I was able to meet you, Lloyd, and everyone else. Ah, uh, Kia. Not the time. I'm glad we met too, Kia. You really have grown up, and in such a short time. In any event, I'm surprised to see the Bright family here too. I'm particularly pleased to meet you, number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. No, that's right, you would not have met them. Yeah, that's right. The pleasure's all mine. I've been wanting to meet the one who took that twisted professor's spot. I can tell at a glance. You're somehow even more rotten than he was. Oh, dear me. Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. I really shouldn't. Forget about her, Red. Agreed. Right now, we need to focus on getting that data. And if they're here to stop us, we won't hesitate to fight back. Ren, Kia, don't worry. We'll take care of them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm assuming oh, Ren's not in the party is now. Is that so? We'll just see about that now, won't we? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, the ball. I thought you were gonna bring out something that like George and Milliam and Altina was using. The combat shell. Though it's different from the kind the professor used. It's a very different type of combat shell, though, right? That black rabbit girl had one of those things too. Altina. One might refer to this one as the origin of the other models you've seen. So, vastly inferior, then. Oh, so it is one of those machines. Okay. Wow! Language, mister! It's been quite some time since I last tested Zoa Balor in battle. I'm very curious to see how it performs against the Divine Blade's daughter, two former enforcers, and the SSS. Nice that. Hello. Um... Rosenberg dolls. 
Okay. You made the old man's dolls into your minions? That's slightly oh, still I creepy. I just couldn't help myself being an alchemist and all. We may both play with dolls, but my tea parties are a little more deadly than yours. That's probably debatable. Please, both of you. That's enough playing around. We're wasting time. You're used to that, aren't you? Huh? That emblem. I am the Icy Maiden, Claire Revelt. On my authority as a member of the Iron Bloods, you're all under arrest for illegally accessing a restricted area. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Activate combat links! We will overcome this. No matter what! Yeah! All right. I trust you'll provide me with some valuable data. Sure, why not? Coming fugitives. <laughs> Do try and make this entertaining. Ooh, does anyone have reduce all enemy ATVs to a certain amount? Ooh. Anyone have a uh, Lloyd does? Okay, so on that critical we'll use our S break. Keep it up! Thanks. Nice chair. Ready to go! And we are ready to go. Okay, so you got 50. Go after Claire, because she deserves it the most. And we'll do Let's Lloyd do for the crit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure, assist right now. Oh, I should put it on a uh, brave order. Keep targeting Claire. It ends here. Tool. Maybe we'll burst after this. That only costs five, right? I think some of you guys have two costing brave orders. There. Oh, we get, we didn't, oh, we didn't unbalance. No. I thought we were gonna unbalance because of the crit. My bad. Uh, yeah, give me the, give me the crit, yes. Do you have interrupts? You don't? Definitely target Claire. Uh, that's unfortunate that you don't have interrupts. Uh, yeah, rush. Roger! Beautiful. I'm impressed. However, not a chance. Your perspective ah! wall. What was that? Just your normal attack? That's a cool normal attack. I'll give you that. Let's do this. <laughs> An opening. Just a. Si oh yeah, we don't have anything else. Yes. Oh, so we interrupted him. Great. Do you have? You haven't peed. So that's interrupt. Yes. Here I go. <laughs> Trying to remember the terminology. <laughs> nice backflip. Now's the time. I probably would have stayed at a distance, given that you have a gun. But hey, you know, uh, they each their own. <laughs> How uh, rude. Yeah, of course you have healing. I've got this. Why wouldn't you have healing? You're an asshole. Let's do it. There. Rush again? Yeah. Let's go, Estelle. Okay. So Maribel's almost gone. Ready to go. Yeah, just keep doing that, I guess. It's not gonna crit this time. So a Oh, of course it has Strike. to be tentacle-like. Damn weirdo. Leave it to oh, me. Oh, okay. You can impede me, but I can't impede you. You know what? You know what? Here. Our have that! Right. Well, that's Let's rude. Uh, okay, so zero order craft. Here you go. Cheer up, guys. Smile. My craft, I mean battle order. My turn now. Uh, she's almost at the point. I'm assuming she's going to leave, so let's do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I suppose I should have expected as much, Ellie. She didn't really do Let's anything go. to you, to be quite honest, but at least you're being nice. Um, let's save it for now, I guess. The tag of that. Hey. No. I got you. Why do you I run so this. close? Oh, but you do you, absolutely. You know, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your own battles, but you have a gun. You have range.
Beautiful. Yes. Right, so Josh will be able to impede you again. Uh, I've got this. Sure, go for it. And delay. Let's do this. It's only plus two delay though. Back in my day, we could get like sixty delay on an attack. With ornaments, anyway. I don't it's think it was ever turn. that much, but hey, you know what? Zero breaker. Zero breaker. Oh, we broke him. Good. <laughs> Better than I could have asked for. Okay. You almost okay. done there? The last matrix is finished. Nice. I've disabled the data protection. Hurry up. Also, sitting like that has to kill your legs. Access granted. Beginning download of classified data. Oh my. <laughs> I am certainly impressed. After all we went through, that better not be just a bunch of junk data. I doubt it. I don't think they had the time to set us up under these circumstances. But the way they're acting, it's like they don't really care if we get this info. Now, that's how it usually goes. You fight them, they go have a cutscene where it's like, Haha! All's going to according to plan! La 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 la. Why go to such lengths to cover things up and then let us learn the truth? The truth about what happened in Heimdall, both on the surface and behind the scenes. <laughs> Simple. Because we already achieved our goals there two weeks ago. <laughs> it doesn't make the slightest difference if you learn the details. There's no way to change the outcome. Oh. Download complete. We got it. We secured an escape route. Let's move. We did. Red, Tia, grab your stuff and start running. When we secure gotcha. escape route. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Shooter. It was good to see you again, Ben. No, it wasn't. Fuck you. However, you're the absolute worst. Exactly. <laughs> Why? Thank you. I wholeheartedly agree. That's very stupid. Love you, Ali. We'll see each other again soon. <laughs> ah, that was quite an entertaining encounter. It's not every day you meet so many interesting people. Though it seemed like there was a touch of drama near the end. I suppose so. It's a bit of a long story. But what's between me and the SSS is none of your concern. It might be. Don't worry, it won't stop me from helping with the Great Twilight and the rivalries. Though I'm none too pleased about having to work alongside someone who stole hundreds of years of technology from my family. And yet here you are! <laughs> I take it you're talking about the homunculus technology? Well, you don't have any grounds to complain there. After all, where did the technology for your cradle come from? On top of that, your use of septium veins for the Wisdom Project seems suspiciously familiar. Oh, touché! <laughs> Perhaps we make a good team after all. Ah, oh, pardon me. Lecter? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Please keep a close eye on the Bracer HQ and the SSS officers' movements. The Icy Maiden, hmm? She certainly piqued my interest. Despite her title, it's clear she can only just barely hold her feelings in. She's walking a thin tightrope. Oh, well, let's hope that tightrope well, snaps. many events have transpired in such a short time. Events both fateful and final that cannot be undone. Right. You take care, too. You don't have to take care. You fall on your sword, actually. That may save me some trouble. Uh, I haven't checked my private orb mails in a while. No one's gonna message you. No one likes you. Kronos, what?! This one is from... two weeks ago. Wait, is that gonna be the one I... Did I send her something? Shit! What's up, Claire? Oh, no, it's Milliam. I'm probably about to get crazy busy with work soon, so I figured I should send you this now. I think that's a million. We took together in Heimdall. I probably should have sent it sooner, but well, I forgot. 
Uh, Still not used to her new voice, to be quite honest. It's from when Reen and Milliam helped me with that undercover operation. Afterward, we went to go get ice cream together and- uh, That was a mistake. Not gonna say anything? No, no, absolutely not. Adios. Did it to a goddamn self. What, did we all get the, like, the picture? This is what really happened in Heimdall? Oh, I can't yeah. can't believe this. They sacrificed a girl to make some sword? And then that Schwarzer guy killed a holy beast with it? Yeah, that was kind of cool. And as a result, the Great Twilight began. Okay, that was less cool. And the curse of the end spread throughout the Empire. The third survivor of Hamel? So he was alive after all. How could we not have noticed? We left him behind. Yeah, he was not mentioned at all in the other games. Looking at all this, it's clear this war won't just be between Erebonia and Calvert. Every country on the entire continent will be pulled in and devoured. Hmm. A lot of crazy stuff happened in Heimdall, but I still believe Tio and Randy are okay. Oh, they're they're fine, yeah. The same for your friends, Tita and Agate. Yeah, they're they're fine too. And all of those class seven guys too. Less fine, maybe? I'm not really sure where Rain's at. Million is a sword. Slash dead. And Oh yeah, Ash is in jail. Probably gonna get executed publicly. Uh Am I missing anyone else? I don't think so. Thank you, Kia. Yeah, I know they're just fine. You took another peek at causality, didn't you? I don't know how reliable that is. Oh, that's right. She can see stuff like that. <laughs> All right, everyone. Now that we have this, we've got a long road ahead of us. At the end of the pro roll? Nope. All right. Are we in the geo front? We've been in this tunnel in the other game before, haven't we? The way we? things are now. Wait, we've definitely been in this tunnel before. Two months at the latest. If the details about this curse are true, anyway. Yes, I thought it would take at least half a year after conscription started, but if supernatural forces are at work. It may happen much more swiftly. We're gonna go report this info to Guild HQ and the Burl's royal family. Whoa. How about you guys? We'll share the intel with Calvert and Remiferia. Yeah, you do that. Fortunately, some of our allies happen to be there right now. You mean the Divine Blade of Wind and Yin? We've got our own allies to get in touch with. It's going to be a pain tracking them down. Maybe, but we're gonna find them no matter what. If each of us helps the others out, if we're all a guiding light for each other, we'll be dozens, no, hundreds of times stronger! It's like Super Saiyan, but with friendship. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, you're absolutely right. Be each other's guiding light, huh? I like the sound of that. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Sounds pretty sappy to me, but I guess I get the idea. And what do you, Ren? That's the right idea for sure, Kia. And I'm proud of you, Ren. If you get it, then that means you've really matured. Oh, head bat. Cut it out, Estelle. I'm not a kid anymore. Yes, you are. <laughs> You'll always be our little sister. Aw. Honestly, I thought you guys were going to adopt her as like a daughter, but I, yeah, adopt the sister's <laughs> fine too, I guess. This bump. We can definitely do this. We have to. Dude, Lloyd, don't leave her hanging, man. It's very awkward. Give her a fist bump. No way we're letting this world come to an end. Yeah. Okay, there we go. This is absolutely. Right now, it's hard to say what Class Seven's next move's going to be, but we'll do whatever we can to be a guiding light for them too. That's really weird. <laughs> them running with their fists out like that. I know, I get it. It's a fist bump, but still. Oh shit, is this an anime opening? 
Okay, I, I'm closing my eyes for any and all anime openings from... Well, actually, from like a couple of games ago point on. So, I don't get spoiled on shit. But Cronus, they're showing you now, they don't mind if you get spoiled. I don't care. Like, opening, anime openings and freaking trailers, I don't watch anymore, alright? Because they too, they're they too spoily. They take away a lot of the fun in the game. So I'm not gonna watch this until I'm done with the game, alright? I'll, I'll, I'll even in. I'll even talk over it. But I'm gonna just sit here with my eyes closed, and we're just gonna just gonna get away for the music to stop, and then we'll go from there. It is good music, though. Honestly, it's like it doesn't sound too anime opening, actually. Okay, okay I'm gonna open my eyes real fast. Oh, it's a fucking Iron Blitz. Of course it is. Uh, this doesn't look like an anime opening. I'm still gonna close my eyes, though. Just in case they show a character that I don't want to see. Because, like, seriously. I don't know. It's like one of those things, like, I want to be surprised by twists and turns. I don't want it to be revealed to me in anime openings and trailers. Alright? There might be another anime opening after this or something like this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get why, like, they're not just game companies, like, shows and movies and everything. They, when they do trailers or opening, they just gotta, like, sh throw a bunch of spoily shit out there. Like, one of those, like, you don't, don't do, like, oh, it's gotta peak interest, though, to get them to buy the game. Yeah, but Jesus Christ, you don't have to spoil certain things. Okay, it sounds like it's, okay, it's black screen. Great. Uh, save? Yeah, sure, I'll save. Right there. Alright, great. Uh, proceed. So that was the end of the prologue? Or are we still going to... Still part of the prologue? Yuna? Yuna, wake up. Unless you're tired, then you can stay asleep. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, I thought you got a haircut. Uh, Why or what? Sleeping in class? <laughs> Were you up late last night or something? Yes. She was reading cookbooks and looking up recipes well past midnight. Wow, how lewd. So you're clearly a dream, right? Obvious from the fog. The fact that Ash is right there. Oh. That we're all wearing main campus Kurt outfits. And Allie? Wait. What's with your uniforms? <laughs> you still dreaming or what? I bet she was having a lovely dream about whoever it is she's planning to cook for. Muse and Ash, too? Hold on. How are you here, Ash? Didn't you... You know, t t attempt a royal assassination? Goodness. Would you all please simmer down? Class is about to start. We need to snap out of it and focus. Huh? Ada and Fritz? You guys are supposed to be at the main campus. Look down, Yuna! What's going on? Why are you two here? You really are out of it, aren't you? Did you hit your head or something? Oh, Jesus. This asshole. <laughs> what? C Crown Prince Cedric? What are you doing here? Are you serious? Maybe you did hit your head after all. I'm here waiting for class to start. We're classmates now, remember? <sighs> did you seriously forget? Yeah. The main and branch campuses being merged? All our classes being rearranged. Okay, so are we in an illusion or just dream? His Highness, Ada, and Fritz were added to Class 7. Oh, they're not worthy of that. But that was two weeks ago. <laughs> They've only been here two weeks, but these scrubs are already acting like they own the place. Watch your mouth. I won't allow you to disrespect His Highness like that. 
too bad. Well, anyway, the fact that we were all at about the same point in the curriculum made things easy. True. The transfer was fairly smooth, all things considered. Huh. <sighs> oh, uh, I guess that rings a bell, now that you mention it. Good cover. Uh, <laughs> man, I must have just had some crazy dream or something. Yeah, I dreamt my teacher went insane and killed a holy beast. Then went to go kill his father. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Okay, so Illusion World? Who are they? Okay. Makarov and Mary, uh, I believe her name was. seven. Looks like you're all here, so we're going to start with today's announcements. Makarov? Sorry, everyone. We still don't have a homeroom teacher for you yet. But the two of us are going to support you as much as we can, so please, give it your all. Thank you, Instructor Mary. You as well, Instructor Makarov. Anyway, today's class schedule. First off, we've got Applied Info Processing. I, I don't even know what the hell that is. Now, what does that mean? What is that covering? That's applied right. Info Processing? We don't have a homeroom teacher, huh? Uh, shoot. I need to focus on the lesson. No, oh, you never do that. Actually, your grades are fairly all right, weren't they? Most I take most of the credit for that. Thor's were so warm and fulfilling. I was surrounded by my friends and classmates. They were all so brilliant and Very talented, debatable. I could barely keep up. But together, we all supported each other and pushed each other to grow. I do like that sword. It's very generic, but I like it. Uh, and not just when it Prince came to Party academics. Pooper's sword is pretty good too. We gave our clubs and our personal lives everything we had too. You really give your personal life everything you have. Whether you're in school, school or not. It's kind of important. It's kind of all you have, actually, in the long run of things. Move the pawn. All right, don't read anything dirty. But for some reason, I couldn't shake the feeling something was missing. <sighs> so... <sighs> A voice that guided us. One that was calm, but carrying way too many burdens. Mine? No, was not calm at all. A little pushy from time to time. That's correct. But you could feel the kindness behind it. Oh, absolutely not. The voice of someone who had gone through a lot, despite not being much older than us. What? I, okay, is this a little. Are you all in a loop? Like, but whose voice could it have been? I couldn't remember. Is it just you in a, like a world of illusions here? Or. From what they said earlier, Ash was in prison, yeah? I guess if they're doing like a worldwide illusion. I can't really be worldwide though. So is this Airbonian? Maybe it is just class seven stuck in like an illusion world or something. Dots. Yuna, your mind seems to be elsewhere today. Are you worried about something? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, you know, you, you're really grown up, Allie. No, she hasn't. She is literally the same exact size. You never picked up on something like this back when you first came. Oh. Oh, you mean, like, emotionally. Um, understanding such emotional intricacies have taken a great amount of effort. But I owe much of that, of much of what I learned to you and, um... Allie? Wait, you too? Me too what? I joined Thor's branch as part of my work with the Intelligence Division, and uh, then I met met him again. Huh? 
I've got a plan. Let's get out of here, Allie. Hmm? Where are we going? We're, we're not going to feel any better staring at these four walls. We'll have to stick to the dorms with how late it is, but I think there's enough fresh air out there to clear our heads. Why don't we go and chat with Kurt and the others? They, they shouldn't be asleep yet. Okay. I'll come with you. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, navigation. Uh, press the down button to open the mini map. Woo. Uh, cool beans. Keep the camera up. Rotate in with a toy camera sits on display. Uh, if it was a toy camera. That is an adorable picture. Uh, anything else I can examine here? Hey, mirror that works. What level are we? Hello? Oh, we can't go to the menu. All right. Okay, sure. Let's look for Kurt first. Maybe he's in his room. Uh, Muse we should check to be sure. It's at the far end of the hall. So we can't go in anywhere? So here. He's not in his room, I can see it. Hey, he doesn't seem to be in his room. He must have gone somewhere. But I don't think he would leave the door this late at night. Let's keep looking for him, man. You know, he might have someone he's going to meet. He's gonna get his jam on or something. Or maybe he's practicing swords. Oh. That's literally that him practicing right. swords right now. Aha! Uh -huh. He's in the training room. What a dork. Ha! Yeah! <laughs> Strike! <sighs> oh, golf cat? Golf cat. <laughs> Looking cat. good, Kurt. Your swordsmanship is as fluid as ever. Oh, Yuna, Altina. What are you two doing here so late? We're just out to get some fresh air. What's up to you, Kurt? Don't you normally practice in the morning? Normally, yes. As for tonight, I just had the urge to train for some reason. I feel like I'm close to reaching a breakthrough, but something is standing in my way. If I could speak with him at a time like this. How about you tag along with us then? You could keep us company in our travel hazard for the night. I'm not so sure. Are you planning to go out of town at this hour? Uh, there wouldn't be much point with all the shops being closed. Not to mention we've been locked in for a long time. You guys, do you remember who was in charge of us before? Our homeroom instructor? Um... You mean someone who's been looking out for us even before Ash and Muse joined the group? Someone who filled that gap for three months before His Highness and the others arrived two weeks ago? Maybe I shouldn't be getting so worked up over this, but I have to know. I just have to for some reason. Yuna. Well, then, I, then I'll come with you as part of my cooldown. Now that I think about it, how long have we been wearing these uniforms? Uh, I'll say two weeks. And what about the other instructors? I can't remember who's in charge of military finance or combat tactics, or even our principal's name. Oh, okay. The only way to make up for losing something is to try to track it back down. If it really is worthwhile, there's no way we can't find it. So, Randy is forgotten about, Toe is forgotten about, and Aurelia is forgotten about, right? The instructor's room should be on the third floor. Let's investigate. Alright, so... Ooh, stars! All up above? No one's here? No. I guess everyone else has already hit the head. There's like six people in this building. Most likely, yes. Okay, let's... Okay, so we got green over here. This is Muse and Ada. Hello, Ada. Muse, Ada. Wait, since when do you two share a room? Yuna, how many times have you been in here to hang out? I know we went over this in homeroom already, but you really do need to get used to us being here. She's right. I understand the last two weeks has been pretty hectic, but things have changed and you're going to have to accept that sooner or later. That is true. Well, it's not as though we dislike the main campus students. Well, I wouldn't say we don't dislike them. Anyways, it's getting late. You should—you probably shouldn't be wandering around the dorms at this hour. 
Unless, of, of course, unless, unless, of course, you would like to stay for some maidenly discussion around my favorite genre. Ada agreed to join the literature club, and I'm sure she can bring some daring new ideas to the table. Y'all a bunch of perverts. Let say, you know, I remind you that there is currently a boy in here. And besides, I haven't yet approved this literature you want me to bring. Uh, that's a muse. I wonder how the rest of the literature club will react. I'm sure Tatia, uh, Tatiana will be thrilled, at least. I imagine Ash is in, quite, in for quite a shock, though. Ah, he's into it. All right, let's uh, go see Cedric. No, study room. Oh, it is Cedric. Okay. Studying late in the, into the hour, uh, late into the night again, Your Highness. Oh, that reminds me, you were invited to the tea ceremony club today, weren't you? That's right. And after you joined the swimming club for some exercise, that's uh, a pretty packed schedule. Don't you think you deserve some time just for yourself? <laughs> uh, some time for myself, you say? Despite how things may seem, it's I've felt much less exhausted here than at the main campus. All of these club activities really help me unwind. I'm more concerned with all of you. Isn't it time you started studying in earnest? I'm sure it would be it would do you some good. Ah, can you quit being a jerk for even two seconds? You know, you need to be careful what you say. No, no, it's all right. After everything we've been through, I don't take it for ins insult. And Kurt, there's no need to waste your energy on worrying about me, I assure you. In fact, I hope you're in peak condition for our morning training tomorrow. Of course. I'm gonna kick your ass, like I always do. All right, let's see, who's in here? Ash and Fritz. Hi, guys. I told you, I don't want it. I'm not interested. Ah, oh, come on, don't be such a prude. Nice poster. It's good stuff! Ash, Frisch, did I ask what's going on? Uh, it's nothing, I assure you. Eyebrows here. <laughs> Eyebrows here wanted to take a look at my girly magazine. Nice guy that I am, I said I'd loan it to him, but... I asked no such thing. This was all the misunderstanding from the very start. I saw it left out on top of your desk and wondered what it was, that's all. I'd appreciate if you stopped trying to force it into, onto me. Ha, ah, boys, am I right? They're irredeemable. Please don't lump us all together like that. Alright. Uh, Anything other green? No other green. Can I look through your stuff? Oh yeah, that's your mother. Can I look at your poster? No, okay. You have anything, Fritz? I should probably go check out the other rooms, right? I kind of just got the hell out of there, right? <laughs> yeah, so there's probably stuff I should have looked. Uh, nothing there. Well, on bookshelves, I usually have something. That's locked. You can also tell we can't go in and do the lack of a space behind it. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. You ladies are boring as all sin. Why don't you have, like, pictures or something? Well, where's that porn book you were talking about? Also like how the guys are irredeemable. Here's Muse talking about bringing like smut magazines in a liter literature club. While Ash and Fritz are doing the same thing. And it just goes to show, everyone's a goddamn pervert. Well, okay, not everyone, but most people are a goddamn pervert. Especially the eyebrows here. You see it on his face. Goddamn degenerate. All right, let's see. Going up? There's no more green spots, right? This is the third floor. Yes, I can count. Okay, let's have a look around. All these nameplates are blank. Not this one. This one seems to be in... Is there a first person mode? No. I don't think. Now. My turn. Here I go! Is that Japanese? I actually... No. It kind of looked like Japanese. Oh, it's green, but with like a bunch of shit scribbled on it. Ah, uh, okay. I just crossed out. Oh. This is... It's this room, without a doubt. I've only been here a few times, but I know. Open the door and go inside. Oh. 
This is not a very good, like, an illusion world of his stuff still here. <sighs> a scroll with Eastern writing. I have like 20 of those, don't worry about it. Instructor Rain! Nah, it's a picture. Okay, so what was that? World of Illusions? It wasn't all of our same dream! It was just Yuna's dream? Was all of that a dream? Yeah, I guess so. Those strange school days we spent with everyone? It seems so. Oh, we were all having the same dream. Okay. Wait, you had a dream about that too? Yes. I get the feeling we were all in the same dream together. Altina included. <laughs> I... I remember now. Why are you in bed with Yuna? I was brought to that dark place. The Grawl. I tried to protect everyone. But then Milliam, she... N no. I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty badass sword. I remember now, too. Valimar went berserk. Yeah, it was pretty badass. No matter how much we tried to call out to Instructor Reen, we couldn't stop it. Well, he had people to kill. Now, Reen, let us begin. Together we shall everyone write had to get in the way. wretched fairy tale. In ink. Black as despair. Chancellor Osborne's words to Instructor Reen are the last thing I remember. But what happened afterward? How did we get here? Wait, have you guys been asleep for two weeks? Oh, you must be disgusting. You're all finally awake. Man, it's about time. <laughs> you had me worried. Hello. Hmm? Emma! And Randy! I am here as well. Wait. Rosalia? But why? No, I said Aurelia earlier, okay, not Rosalia. So I'm sorry. The name, like, wait. <laughs> like, did I mix those two up earlier? And where are we? Oh, I still could have got the principal's name wrong, for all I know. Confused, huh? I am an idiot. Can't blame you. Don't worry, you're safe here. This is my grandmother's atelier. I don't really played that series. It's where I grew up. This is your family home? Did they wake up? Sounds like it. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Fee. How'd your voices carry so far? <sighs> you're all here. What a relief. I'm glad you're all okay. You really had us worried there. It's nice to finally have a bit of a silver lining after everything that happened. I'd ask if you're all okay, but... Physically, yes. Emotionally, quite damaged. No one could blame you after all that's happened. I imagine you must be feeling weak and disoriented. You were unconscious for two whole weeks, after all. Okay. <sighs> Do we have, like, a nursing facility here? Feeding tubes? Uh, summon the cleanest when we crap ourselves, because, like, that's disgusting if we don't, and how are we still alive without feeding tubes and IVs? Two weeks? No feeding tubes? You can live, like, a while without eating. That's very possible. Dehydration, though, will kill you quick. So without IVs, y'all dead. Anyway, Turn us the fantasy game. First thing you need to do now I'm is not eat. saying anything about a fantasy, I'm just saying. Don't get too unrealistic here. Even soup is fine. Just get something in you. Trust me, I'm just as lost as you are. But we can talk later. Okay. That's right. Let me go make something for you. Nuh-uh. 
We're talking now. You need to tell us what the hell happened. I'm pretty sure y'all just knew. Oh, you mean like when you were out? Yeah, maybe that. And what in the world's an atelier? <laughs> no way we're still in Heimdall, right? <laughs> That's what she's confused about. It's magic. You all right, Hi. Tina? For someone who spent the last two weeks dozing, you certainly are pushy. As the elder, I suppose I should explain. We are currently deep in the heart of a pitch black forest. Welcome to the home of the Hexen clan, the hidden village of Aaron. Aaron, okay. I will try to remember that. But I make no promises. Still, still August 1st. Wait, does that mean you don't know where the others are? Is anyone going to answer her? Is she going to have nameplates? Okay. I'm afraid not. It's my fault. If I only was more powerful, I could have brought them here as well. Oh, so we left, like, Agate and Tita and everyone else with Toa outside. Oh, that sucks. Toa better be alright. Going on. I think I was teleporting your ass. Ah, so the Grawl has come unbound. Okay, no, it's the Grawl becoming unbound. This whole place is returning to its proper dimension and taking us with it. It's going to cause a distortion. Emma! I'm on it. Do you get to keep that staff, by the way, Emma? Is this... You're teleporting this outside? How she does? Yes, this will take you straight to Grandmother. Don't worry, I'll make sure we all get out safely. Oh shit, it's Shadow Emma! Okay, we'll leave it to you. Just be careful. Hi. Stay close. I'm teleporting you out of here. That is a cool well, sword, understood. though, right? But Instructor Reen... It's definitely worth a million. Uh, fine. I'll get him! Celine, no! Okay, what so the? Celine's probably with Reen, then? Okay. Emma, you should probably teleport everyone. No! No, you should teleport everyone now! Instructor! Uh, we need to get out of here now! Yeah! Stay close by and keep a firm hold on Altina. Hi, Muse. Nice dragon. Muse? What the heck is that? It's a dragon. Grianus? Rawr. No! Is this Vita's magic? Correct. A transportation talisman imbued with the power of her deceased familiar. She gave it to me in case of emergency. How unfortunate I have to use it so soon. Just who are you? Yuna, Kurt, and Altina, too. I'm afraid it's time for me to say goodbye. Bye. Muse! You can't be... 
The great twilight has begun, and I too have a role to so play. So that's not a dragon, it's a bird. But I will always treasure <clears throat> the memory of these few months we spent together. So please, take care, and just leave Ash to me. Oh, right, yeah, no, Ash was saved at the end, wasn't he? Yeah. But they all thought, they're all saying like he's in like prison, yeah? She's gone, Yuna. To the general public. This place won't last much longer. We need to get out of here. Also, like, grab Altina? I mean, I know she gets saved, but Kurt, you had one job. Dots. So much happened while I was we were unconscious. Well, you were unconscious. They were awake. What does you say thinking? I always thought there was something odd about that girl. I never expected her and V to be working together, though. Yes, it is quite a shock. She even been teaching her magic. Uh, according to Yusa, she's been put in a pretty tough position. Uh, you can ask him all about it later. Okay, I guess we'll do that. That's about as far as our memories go. By the way, how did you end up here, Instructor Randall? Oh, I just ended up working out that way. There was Tio. I'm assuming we're gonna find out what happened to Tio here. G Grandmother, there you are. Now we can open the spirit path. Hey, is everyone okay? No. Oh, you left Tio behind? Rude! Huh? Randy! Randy, you had one job! We don't have enough time! I'll use a partition to get the others out! Take care! A lot of people look like failing their one job. I'm worried about Tia and Instructor Toa and Louise and Jessica too. Then there's the Nora, Tita, and the others. Sydney's unaccounted for as well. I can't believe we lost two old weeks. It couldn't be helped. They're just how uh, there's that's just how much the battle in the Grawl exhausted you. Using Panzer Soul that linked to the Ashen Knight further increased the burden on you. You may need even more time to fully recover your mana. The rest of us only woke up a couple of days before you guys. The battle really took a lot out of us. Sounds like you guys been skipping training days. Emma. What happened to your black cat, uh, Celine? Celine is physically linked to Emma. If any bad were to happen to her, Emma would know right away. So far, things have been quiet. Yes, but I'm unable to sense her for a while though. now, though. Even during the Civil War, her presence fell very faint to me. It sounds like the two of you have a relationship similar to, uh... Sammy and myself? Yeah, Columbus that's it. And myself. Dots. Allie, I'm sorry. Can't be easy thinking about what happened to Milliam. Her becoming a sweet sword. Uh, yeah, getting used as used as a sacrifice for a curse. What crappy luck. It's gonna be tough on all of you, and, and Reen's got the rough end of the stick, too. Instructor Reen. Dots. Guys, I... You need Kurt. Altini. <laughs> Altini. Uh, the instructor is being kept captive by the gnomes and the ironbloods. This must be uh, they must know uh this must we know to be true. The Ashen Knight, who has been consumed by his power, and the sword of the end are with him. He's lucky that Selene is there as well. I see. Try to put your concerns out of your mind for the time being. You'll need to stay in the village to recuperate a little longer. Don't torture yourselves worrying over what you can't change. If you would like to unwind, we have some lovely hot spring. Oh God, are we gonna get a hot spring scene already? Oh, it's it's an owl. I thought someone was screaming from behind me. 
You alright, Kronos? You know, sometimes I wonder. The place looks nice. Erin, the Hillen Hill Village. Hillen Valley? Hidden Valley, Kronos. Hidden Village, Kronos. God damn it. Dots. Beautiful, isn't it? It is. It certainly is. Do you think that all this was hidden deep in Ish. Ish. Mia? Sure, let's go with that one. Well, how about we take a look around? Let's. Let's. I'd like to talk with the members of the old Class 7 again while we're, at, while we're at it. They're taking all this harder than we are, I'm sure. Indeed. Yeah, we owe, we owe it to everyone to have a proper talk. And about what happened, about we, we're, uh, where we go from here. Oh, like, well, totally about the notebook. Game, I was just about to do my outro. I mean, it's not really an outro, I just say I, that's it for this episode. But sure, notebook. I'm assuming it's the same as all the other games. Thank you. Quick travel menu is now available. Whoa. I love me some quick travel. Yeah, I know. Uh, misc. Ooh. Obtain a set amount of bonuses. What? Oh, you gave me the items from the thingy, Bob. Okay. We're level 28! <laughs> What the fuck happened in between those two weeks, man? I know you're unconscious, but you don't lose strength that quickly. Where are my ultimate weapons? Alright, well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Reen slept a goddamn month on a mountain and was still almost as high level as it was at the end of the first one.